tomorrow. There is no tomorrow. There is no tomorrow. Two words, man, all week. Strike and attack. And it don't change now. We strike, we strike and attack. Today is about how we do it. You understand? How do we do it? The team that owns the line of scrimmage dominates this game. And that starts up front with a mindset. Fourth quarter is ours. First quarter is ours. moment where you're about to take over and you don't get tired mm -mm. you don't get tired you got motion that's why they can't fight the fight you fought in war you're not afraid to go to war you're not afraid to stand 10 toes down that's why they can't walk a mile in your shoe turn them up George. listen to me i told you when you build different you see different you lead different you apply that pressure different because you one of a kind mm -hmm. you one of a kind talk that talk george you who your bloodline been waiting for because you stand on business, you stand on business, big dog. Yeah. Ballin', yeah, we ballin', ballin', we going for the win. Thank you, Link Focus. That's down. all I do is a guy across from me. I'm fixing to whip his ass. Not game. in my box, not today. It's about us, way. it's about our family. Ballin', we attack. Ballin', we play the next play, Marcus. No matter what happens, we play the next play. What do we do? Ballin', we play the next play. Y'all hear me? Ballin', ballin'. We going for the win. Connection. Connection. Yeah, one plus one equals what? Believe in it, guys. Believe in it. Have each other's back. Great composure. Let's go out physical. How you out physical with somebody, Ron? Move them. You display some Nas. You move them from point A to point B, and you strike them. We're playing for our team. We play for each other. Yeah. We going for the win. Yo, what's good, everybody, man? It's your boy, Kobe, in the mix. Jeez, I'm ready for this game tonight. I ain't gonna sit here and lie to y'all, man. We got number eight, Alabama, taking on number one, Georgia, in the SEC championship game, baby! You feel me, man? For any videos you guys want me to react to, comment down below. Hit me at the Twitter and Instagram, at Kobe in the mix. Hey, for that person that, uh, you know, told me about the video to react to as well, I got y'all, man. You know what I'm saying? I remember I told you guys that before. I just been busy, but I got you. I have not forgot about you, the person that recommended me that uh, Atlanta Falcons game. But anyway, we are in the Mercedes-Benz Stadium tonight in Atlanta for the SEC Championship game between Georgia and Alabama. It's usually Alabama and Georgia every year in the SEC Championship game. But... Yeah, y'all. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you guys hit that notification bell if you guys would like to be notified at every single video. Like the video, share the video, subscribe because it helps out the channel tremendously. And at the time of this recording, we're at 1,433 subscribers, y'all. So give yourselves a pat on your back, man, because if it wasn't for you guys, man, I would not be in this situation. You know what I'm saying? And I want to just say again, I thank you guys. You know, our channel is constantly growing every single day, man. But the channel, like I said again, we're not going anywhere anytime soon, bro. We have a lot that we have to complete on YouTube, and this is just only the beginning. I don't know where it's going to end at, you know what I'm saying? This is just what I love to do, and this is something that is going to be around forever. That's what I like to do. I like to entertain you guys. I like to, you know, I like to I like to keep you guys entertained, man. You know what I'm saying? I like to keep you guys entertained. But uh, anyway, I hope you guys enjoy. I'm not going to hold y'all boys up, man. So without further ado, let's do what they do and get right into the motherfucking video. Let's get it. Let's go. I've been waiting for this game. Let's go. Let's go. Turn this volume up just a little bit. Number eight, Alabama. Number one, Georgia. Georgia wins this game tonight. They secure their number one spot. The back-to-back -back champions. Woo! Well, I didn't even know you could do that. 
Jalen Milroe has been playing exceptional all season long, but Jalen Milroe gets sacked in his tracks. Georgia. They gonna lock in. Ooh, the pass. Brock Bowers. Brock Bowers. It's gonna be a problem. Carson Beck. Mm. Whips it out you see Carson Beck? To Dominic Lovett. And Lovett. Woo! Caleb it's gonna be a dog fight. I'm not gonna lie, it's gonna be a dog Caleb fight. We got Michigan coming up next versus Iowa. We got right now in the college football rankings. I think Georgia's number one. Number two is uh Michigan. Number three, we got Washington, and I believe number four as of right now is Florida State. But if Florida State loses, somebody else will take their spot. Let alone this game. Kendall Milton. 7-0 just like that. Hey, I ain't gonna sit here live, bro. This is like the first time ever, bro. I'm not even gonna sit here and lie to y'all, man. The first drive, so I'm gonna just explain this to you guys really quick. So, the team, the opposing teams that usually be going against Georgia, bro, they always score on their first drive, bro. And Georgia did not let the opposing team score on the first drive this time. This time it is Georgia, man. So, Georgia is playing serious right out of the gates. They are not playing around with Alabama. And they're just going to have to keep running the score up. But Alabama is one of those teams you can't sleep on. And anything can happen. Anything is can happen. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Georgia got this game, bro. Hey, everyone. Wheels here with... I don't see no upset. And pushes him. him open up the linebacker. Thank you. And have a great day. I think it's Ratledge number 16. I watch this block. Watch him open up. The linebacker blitz turns him out. And, Milton. and again, let me go ahead and shout out to Wills, man, because if it was not for him, we wouldn't be able to react to these games. He's the one that makes these highlight clips, and I'm able to react to him. So again, I appreciate you, my guy. He be looking out for all of us. Brock Bowers. He lost some yards on that. Georgia is not in a safe position. That was nearly picked off. Like I said, we got the Bulldogs and the Crimson Tide. I really want Georgia to win tonight, bro, because I want to have a chance for Michigan to go against Georgia, bro. I really do. Right now, Georgia going into this game. They're on a 29-game winning streak. They have not lost in the last couple of years. The run. By number 26. Jalen Melrose. Look at the pocket time he has. So much time in the pocket. So much time in the pocket. Oh, he's scrambling. He's taking matches to his own hands for a Alabama first down. Set up in the shotgun. Try to feed the running back, and he loses some yards on that one. Good defense by Georgia. Both of these teams are powerhouse teams in the SEC. The vision in that was not caught, but it wouldn't matter if it was caught or not because it was not in bounds. For three for Alabama from 43 yards out. The only be down by four, and they got it just barely. Nice. There you go. Congratulations, Will. Nice. They're down at two. Three and two. Woo! Alabama, the momentum is on their side. He still hasn't completed a pass here. Got him on loud. Oh, good feed. Nice low feed. We see you. Oh, yeah. Make something happen. Plenty of time in that pocket. Woo. Woo. Oh, he stepped out. Trying to make his case to win that Heisman this year. He want that Heisman. Jalen Miro want that Heisman. He's trying to make his case. Yeah. Four point game right now though. Yeah, that was a mean ass face mask. And was put on the back of his jersey. Looked like it was a horse collar. Jalen Milrow, he keeps doing them little quick passes. Hey, that shit's working, though. Them short passes to the running back. That shit's working. Georgia is not watching that. 10-7, though. Alabama is up by three. Got 12 minutes and four seconds left in the second. 
Like I said, this game means everything for Georgia, bro. Because if Georgia wins, they secure their spot in the playoffs. But if they find a way to lose this game, and this game ends up being an upset, that, I mean, Georgia won't be in this bitch. Because we already know Michigan is beating Iowa tonight. So that means Michigan would be number one, bro. Michigan would be number one if Georgia loses this game. But I do not want Georgia to lose. Beat Bama because we want to see y'all in the playoffs, bro. Of course, we got to get through our matchup first if that's going to be Washington. I think, yeah, pretty sure it's going to be Washington. We want to go against Washington to take care of business. And then Georgia, they're going to have to take care of Florida State unless Florida State loses. In trouble. He's going to get the first down and dives forward. Like I said, I've just been waiting to see what team is going to break this team's winning streak. And there is a chance that Alabama could do it, but we just never know. Just never know. Anything is possible. Woo! Woo! That pressure is crazy. Alabama red hot on defense right now. And it's going to be a false start on Georgia. False start. Hmm. The time. 50 yards out, and it's the good. It hit the no, and it hit the fucking pole. The Damn. Five yards closer. Come That's on, Georgia. Come on now. Alabama, Jalen Mill, fucking whoa! And there was a pass interference. Damn. I hate that underthrow pass interference play. What's a defensive back supposed to do? It's such a difficult play, as you said, Gary. Yeah. Pass interference. Defense. He didn't even know he was running into him like that. See, especially so with this Georgia defender, too. Like, when you're on defense and you're a DB, bro, like, literally, bro, you're running and you can't even see. You don't even know when the ball is about to come down, bro. See, he already assumed that the ball was about to land in his hands. But before the ball even got to the Alabama dude's hand, the receiver, this dude was running all into him. He didn't even know. He didn't even know what the ball was. He thought the ball was already about to get there. But by the time he grabbed on to him, the ball just then landed on him, and then it was a pass interference. Alabama able to push their way in for a first down. They drive is still alive. Jalen Milrow gets sacked in his tracks, number 97. Pours the legs down. Third and 21. Jalen Mill. Oh, is that pick? They both got the ball. No. 84. Oh, that bitch. Said, This is mine. They will go for it. Blitz on the way. Mill Row. Mill Row. He got a lot of guts. Going for it on fourth and four. Wow. Wow. Man, that was a good see call by Alabama, but it worked. Jalen Mill, whoa! Jermaine motherfucking Burton. 17 to 7. Georgia, what's going on? I'm not even trying to be funny, bro. I know this could be the team that could snap y'all winning streak, bro, but this is not the game to be playing like this. I've never seen Georgia have a slow start, bro. It's been two fucking years, bro. 29 game win streak. Will this 29 game win streak get snapped? Or will their winning streak survive? Will they winning streak stay alive? Georgia's gonna have to have a lot. Bro, let me pause this game real quick, bro. Georgia is gonna have to have a way better half. A way better second half than they did in the first half, bro. I can't tell you the last time I seen Georgia only have fucking seven points, bro, in the first half. Georgia is one of those teams, bro. You got to basically just, you got to run it up on them. You got to make every drive count. And I've been telling you guys this from day in and day out, bro, since their winning streak started, bro. We've been doing this shit for about two and a half years now, bro. Especially with a team like Georgia, bro, you got to make every drive count. And your defense has to be a one bro and Georgia, I mean not Georgia, but Alabama. Hey, no hate towards Alabama, man. I fuck with Alabama too, bro. I just wanted to see Georgia win. You know what I'm saying? Because I want Michigan to have a chance to, you know, play against them, bro. You know what I'm saying? Of course, we have to take care of business. I know Georgia would take care of business, but even if Alabama wins this game tonight, bro, kudos to you guys, man. Because 
Hey, I'm telling y'all, man, it's been a long time coming, bro, if Georgia loses this game, bro. Georgia losing, bro, it's been a long fucking time, bro. Alabama, but like I said, again, they're doing their thing, bro. Shout out to them. Keep playing y'all game. Keep doing y'all thing. Y'all got to keep taking it to Georgia, man. But let's see if Georgia's going to have a better second half because it has been a slow start from them. Alabama has been playing really good so far, man. Like I said, Georgia still got plenty of time left. This game is not over yet. It is far from over. So we are going to see what's going to happen. But only one of these teams could be left standing. Will it be Alabama? Will it be Georgia? Let's see if Georgia does some on this drive. Bet! Bet! To number 11! There you go. There you go. Good catch. Good concentration. Good catch. Had his eyes on the ball. And he kept his foot in bounds. Clean ass catch. Woo! But if Georgia loses, like I said again, bro, that would make Michigan number one, bro. And that would be crazy. There's nothing there that shows me he lost control. After video review, the ruling on the field stands. Nice. Dominic Lovett settles in in the slot. Carson Beck looks one way. Carson Beck able to escape. They were trying to close in on him, and that boy nearly got picked off. And I think his pass was to Brock Bowers. But they're going to have to put three on the board. 17 to 7. Seven point game. They're only down a touchdown. Anything can happen. Alabama set up in the shotgun. Good pass. Good catch by number three. There you go. Ooh, good little pitch. On the block to the right hand side, but that was good. Oh, horse collar. Horse collar. That left hand looks like it's on top to me, though, guys. Personal foul. You can't, yeah, you can't tackle like that, bro. That's gonna hurt them. Georgia fucking up right now, bro. Oh, he pressured the hell out of him. This shit number 11. Nah, he was already down, bro. He was already down. Referee called him down. Rolling on the field with the quarterback was ruled down. You're right, Gary. Absolutely right. I was looking at the right center. Yeah, he was already down. That's tough. Back. Ooh. That was a tough pass. Hey, that was a tough pass by Carson Beck. That's one thing I can't say. Oh, my fucking God, Georgia. Georgia, what the fuck? Georgia, what the fuck, bro? I was just about to give Carson Beck his credit. Well, I still am going to give him his credit, bro. But Carson Beck, bro, I ain't going to lie, bro. He's him. That man is one hell of a passer, bro. He's not like uh, Michigan, bro, with J.J., you know, J.J. McCarthy, bro, you know, he be doing his thing and shit like that, bro. But we're not the best of a passing team. Michigan isn't, bro. They're more of a run team than they are a pass team, bro. We're a running gun type of team, bro. We can throw the ball from time to time, but we're a run team. No, Alabama's got but Michigan does have the best defense right now, bro, in all the college football, I believe. We got the number one defense. Fancy ball handling. Come so, fake. Not offense, bro. It it's kind of unstoppable. I ain't gonna lie. But I can't believe they made a mistake like that, bro. Miscommunication. And that's gonna cost Georgia, bro. Alabama's gonna get set up in good positioning and definitely have a chance to score a touchdown, bro. Definitely got a chance to score a touchdown. Huge blow by Georgia, bro. Huge fucking blow. Nope. He dropped it. So Will Reichert in to try to tack three more on. And a kick. Mm. From Alabama up by number. I mean, up by number 10. Blitz. What the fuck am I talking about? Alabama Coming up by 10. And that's going to be a first down. Good catch by Love It. It's going to bring our third quarter to a finish. 15 minutes left, bro. Georgia's record is on the line. A playoff spot is on the line. They, they have to win this game. They have to win the SEC championship or they're out of it. They have to. Alabama. I'm telling you, bro. They is getting into fucking Georgia's ass right now, bro. Pause. Damn. But Georgia answered back with a big player they own on defense. 
Third and 19. Miro looking for somebody to pass to. And he is going to fall just short of that first down marker. And they're going to be putting the ball. And it's going back to Georgia. Georgia better make something happen. 12 minutes left. Not plenty of time left to be played. He's going to take matters to his own hands. He caught it. He gets good field position. And he's going to be down at about the 50. No, inside the 30. My bad. I lied. Oh. Pass interference. Yeah. Good stuff. Good pass. Carson Beck. Good little pass, bro. And that is a touchdown by Carson Beck. Nice. Good shit. 20 to 17, bro. Like I said, both of these teams are powerhouse teams. You saw Carson Beck after the throw to McConkie saying, come on, guys. Come on. Get up there. And he knew it was his number. And he scored. Alabama first down from the 25. Jalen Hill Row. Look at that pass. Woo! This drive means everything for Alabama, though. This drive means everything. This is not the time to mess up. You got Georgia's number right now. You guys are in control of this game right now. Time is in your favor. But y'all have to make something happen on this drive, even if it's three points. Ooh. Shovel pass. Jalen Milrow with the shovel pass. That was nice. That was nice as fuck. From the 12 yard line. Milrow. Damn. 27 to 17, bro. The way it's looking, bro, this win streak might actually be over with. Fuck, man. Damn, Georgia. I believe Jalen Miller was four. Damn, they back to back champs, though. You know what I'm saying? I don't think they're gonna have a chance to three peat this year, though. I know a lot of Georgia fans, bro, are gonna be upset about this shit, bro. After video you, the one is right arm was down, a half yard short of the goal. Yeah. Nope. He got in there though. He got in there though. He got in there. He did. Touchdown. He got in there. But like I said again, bro. Georgia. How about that answer? Aggressive answer. Not gonna have a chance to three feet, bro. Four pass plays completing all four of them. The chances in them three feet is about slim to none now. Well, Alabama being up by ten with six minutes left. Like I said, Alabama time is in their favor. Must get a stop by Georgia. I mean, uh, Alabama got to get a stop on Georgia. This time he's got it and he comes but Georgia's drive is still alive. All the way to the First down at the Let's see. Now Let's back see. You no, know, a lot of, you know, a lot of Georgia Maybe. fans be viewing my channel and stuff like that. Face mask, can't do that. Face mask. Defense. Alabama, don't be fucking up like that. Should not be fucking up like that. Back. Carson. Hey, nice. Makai Muse. Georgia going hurry up as they got it to the 26 yard line. Back, back to work. You know, a lot of Georgia fans is on their feet right now, bro. Damn, bro. I'm not used to Georgia losing, bro. Late into the game, bro. That shit is crazy. Beck got two of them things. He about to have two. Oh, he gave it to Kendall Milton. Kendall Milton got two. Be Kendall Milton again. Be Kendall Milton again. He got him. He's in there. Two minutes and 52 seconds left. A three-point game. Unless they try to go for a two-point conversion. And they can be down by two. We want to, we want to see what they're going to decide to do. The smart thing would be for them to just go for a field goal. And try to hurry up and get the ball back. It's gonna be a big, big drive for Alabama, though. That used to be Jalen Carter back in that fullback spot. Big fucking drive, bro. Georgia got two timeouts left. Alabama still got the three. Jalen Monroe, he is rushing like crazy. Damn. Bro is rushing like crazy. Hmm. Damn. That's it. Damn, bro. Georgia about to fucking lose, bro. Georgia only got one timeout left, and they about to 
do that clock management shit. Yeah, my feel for you guys, though. I feel for you Georgia fans. Hey, Alabama fans. Where my Alabama fans at, man? I know you guys are excited about this win. But to know that Georgia is not going to be in the playoffs after this loss is crazy with Alabama getting the SEC championship game. So now, y'all, I'm telling y'all, I'm not going to sit here and lie to y'all boys, man. Michigan, wake the fuck up. Georgia is out of it. Alabama is not in it. Make this shit count this year and win a fucking national championship. Now, I'm kind of upset because I wanted to go against Georgia in the national championship game. But I'm telling y'all, bro, this has been our destiny since the fucking beginning for the last two years. bro. I know what you Georgia fans are going through, but at least you guys got back-to-back -back champs. You know what I'm saying? You guys were the back-to-back -back champions, and y'all got two national championships. There's nothing to be upset about. All winning streaks can't last forever. Congratulations to Alabama for taking out the number one team, Georgia. Michigan don't even have to worry about Georgia no more. Even though I wanted them to worry about Georgia because, you know, Georgia, they whooped our ass, bro. And I always wanted to get my get back on Georgia. But it's a lot of respect to Georgia, though, man. I mean, they made it this far. They got one of the toughest conferences in college football, bro. I mean, they had an outstanding season, bro. I can't even sit here and lie. A really outstanding season. Alabama had really had an outstanding season as well. But for Georgia to lose to a team like Alabama, man, it's understandable. You know what I'm saying? Alabama... Hey, they was playing. They was on top of their A game. Georgia, they had a little bit of a slow start, but they came back and they had a chance to take the lead, bro. They really didn't even really make any mistakes like that, bro. This was, like, really a really good game, bro, and I can't even sit here and lie to y'all, man. This SEC championship game was amazing. And, again, I want to say shout-out to Wills because if it wasn't for Wills, we wouldn't be able to react to these games right here, man. So he's the one that puts these highlight tapes together and stuff like that. But, man, what do you guys think, man? Alabama snapping Georgia's 29-game win streak. I'm just in shock, bro. I really don't even know what to say. I'm sorry if I sound like a broken radio, and I'm just talking about the same shit over and over again, bro. But the shit is actually crazy that Georgia has actually lost. So that means Michigan ain't win this game tonight against Iowa in the Big Ten championship game. We will be number one. Number two, I believe, would be Washington. Number three would be... Um, who the fuck is number three? If Florida State win tonight, it'd be Florida State. That's number three. Then number four, I believe it would be Texas, if I'm not mistaken. Or if Florida State loses, uh, Texas would be number three. Bro, I don't even know what the fucking standings is right now. I'm not even going to sit here and lie to y'all, man. I know Georgia is out of this shit now. They are out of the playoffs, if I'm not mistaken. I think they're out. Um, let me see real quick. I just want to know what the rankings are as of the as of today. So honestly, bro, yeah, if Florida State loses tonight, bro. Texas will be in it. Texas will be in it if Florida State loses tonight. With Georgia losing as well, Ohio State could actually sneak their way back into this bitch. But it's all of a matter if Florida State is going to lose. If Florida State loses since Georgia lost, because I think Georgia's out of it. If Florida State loses, that means Texas will be in. Well, Texas is in no matter what. Texas is in no matter what. But it's all going to come to a matter if Ohio State is going to be in it. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, man. Again, I appreciate all the love and support you guys have been showing me, man. What a game, though. No. I mean, I'm just completely in shock, bro. I don't know what to say, man. But it was a good run by Georgia. You know, you're back-to-back -back champions of college football. But it's time for a new team to arise, bro. Michigan, I'm t I am swear I swear to you, bro. Y'all got to win. Y'all got to fucking win, bro. It's up, bro. It's, 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 bro. The, the title is literally in our fucking hands, bro. It's up for grabs, bro. We're literally right fucking there, bro. Win this game tonight and win two more games. Our first playoff game and our second playoff game, bro. We have a national championship. And we can finally call ourselves champions. It's Michigan versus everybody, man. Michigan, please get the fucking job done. Please. Please. I'm begging you. Please. Do not let me down again, bro. The way these Georgia fans are feeling right now, I feel the same exact way, bro. You know what I'm saying? I was down. I was mad. I was pissed, bro. But, I mean, the only difference is between me and the average Georgia fan, they have two championships that they already have celebrated. Michigan don't even have none. I mean, they have championships that they won in the past, bro, but it's been so fucking long, bro. We need an up-to-date national championship, bro. 
it's been way too fucking long. So Michigan, capitalize, get the job done tonight so we can go in the playoffs. The playoffs is up for grabs now. It's completely wide open, bro. We have no powerhouse teams besides Michigan, but you also got Washington. They just beat an Oregon team, and it was playing really good football. And you got Florida State, but Florida State's quarterback, starting quarterback, they start quarterback, and he's hurt. So the backup quarterback got to do his thing now. And then we also got Texas that's going to be in it now, too. But like I said, again, these rankings are unofficial right now because Michigan, they are playing in the Big Ten game versus Iowa. So depending on what happens in that game and depending on what happens in this Florida State game is going to have our final, well, we going to have our final rankings for college football. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. I appreciate all the love and support. And with all that being said, man, it's your boy Kobe. And I'm going to see y'all boys. And I'll see y'all boys. Peace. Sheesh.